Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to be doing some banana nut bread. So I have everything already here laid out just because it's easier to record that way. Um, but I'm going to link the video I copied on here in the bottom of my video. So I'll go ahead and put that down for you. But first things first, we have our bananas. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in there and mash them. My bananas, four bananas, I'm doing double the recipe because I want to make a lot because the other time I made one batch and then I had to make another batch. So this time I'm just kind of doing the both batches in one. So here we got our bananas now mashed. So I'm going to see what we put next because I don't remember. So for the bananas, we're going to add the eggs. Let me go ahead and crack the eggs in. Then we're going to add the oil, the butter. milk and they have done a splash of vanilla but since I'm doing two batches I'll do two of vanilla. Whoa. Do a little extra. Okay so now we got our wet ingredients so I'm going to do the dry ones and add them on. So this is the flour. And in here, I have my brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and uh, salt. So this is what it all looks like now that it's mixed together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the baking cupcakes cheese. Oh my gosh, my arm hurts. So it's heavy. There we go. So I have them on in there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work smarter and not harder. The way that she did it, it was that she um, put the toppings that she wanted in there, the flavor she wanted in there as she mixed it. But since I'm doing three different kinds, well four, um, I'm just doing it by rows. So for this row, I'll do both chocolates. I'm gonna do walnuts. I'm gonna do blueberries. Oh wait, no, they're not even. Oh yeah, this one. So that's what they look like so far. But since I have to mix them, I'm gonna grab a toothpick and I'm gonna mix them up. So the other time I made these, I made. The topping is supposed to have like a little crumb, but the butter that I use, I guess it was um, it was too soft. So instead, it became like a little icy. This time, I'm gonna try to make the crumb topping that I want. So yes, sorry. So in here, it's flour, sugar, and cinnamon, and I have to. Mix it and put the butter, but the butter has to be cold from the fridge because if it's too soft, then it turns into the icing thing that I don't want. So I hope, fingers crossed, oh, let me cross my fingers crossed that it works this time. So this is what I'm talking about. This is supposed to be kind of like a crummy thing and I don't know why. I either over mix it I think is what I do because I have the exact same 
things that she adds but i think what i do is i over mix it you just have to go like one two and that's it you know so i over mix it so mine is soft so i'm gonna put a little bit of this one because this is what i did the other time i'm gonna put a little bit of this one in there and then i'm going to try to do the crumb again like this just so we can have kind of like a cinnamon thing in there <laughs> I did this other time, it was really good. It was like center, but it had a lot of cinnamon icing in it, so it was really good. So I got in that. The other time I used the folding spoon, but I used a fork, and the problem was that I was over mixing it. So this time I just got a fork and I tossed it back and forth, back and forth. And you can see that there's a lot of chunks. That's what you want, girls or boys. <laughs> but that's what you want. You want the crumbs because when you bite into it, it's going to have a lot of that good crumbs on top. So let me go ahead and top it off with this. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes, I believe, for 375 or at 375. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in. So yesterday at Walmart, my babies met a real life Santa. So basically, we go to Walmart, we park the car and my daughter Luna's side, I got her out and there was two pennies on the floor. She was like, wow, mom, money, money. I was like, yeah. So then I got it because pennies are supposed to be for good luck. And I grabbed the two pennies and I gave them to her and I said, get a penny, pick it up and all day long you'll have good luck. And then we got them and we put them in our purse. We go into Walmart, we got the stuff that I needed and I sent Andrew to get something from electronics that I needed um, because only he knows about it or where to find it all that stuff so i sent him to do that and i grabbed the stuff and i needed these cupcake sheets liners or whatever they're called and i had got the white set and i had got the brown set and i'm walking and then the girls pass you know there's a lot of toys in walmart right now the holidays are here and stuff and and what's it called um the guy the guy so i'm speeding up too soon we passed the aisle of the clothes. The aisle of the clothes were there and right there, there was like a lot of bikes right there already, like ready for you to just grab and go, grab and go. And Luna said, she's like, wow, mommy, look, the bikes are so pretty. I said, yeah, they're really pretty, mommy. And then um, we go and as I'm going down the aisle, there was a man who was trying to put some items in his car. And so I kind of like stopped to give him time i don't want him to feel rushed so he was putting his items in his car but then i didn't realize there was a lot of people behind me and since there was a lot of people behind me and everything um i held everyone up and the man behind me said excuse me so i thought him and excuse me girl like get out of my way so i was like oh my gosh i'm so sorry so then like i like rushed out the way as soon as i could and then i rushed out the way and then i turned to the right and there was a walk filled with toys like grocery carts and you know like um dinosaur toys trucks barbie toys and all that stuff so my girls love anything girly pink any toys anything at all they, they love it all but right now their obsession is barbies and my daughter luna saw it she's the oldest girl and she, she's three and she saw she was like wow mommy like barbies look at the pretty toys like i want a barbie and i was like yeah mommy they're so pretty like let's wait for christmas you know Christmas is coming and you're gonna get a lot of toys for Christmas and she was like okay like usually for her she'll have a little fit if she really wants it or something like that but because right now she's being very understanding because she knows Christmas is coming she was like okay that's fine mommy and then um and then after that we just left and then Madison the one-year-old dropped the brown cupcake sheets that I needed and those were the ones I really wanted and she dropped them under some aisle like so you know how there's a the boxes the aisles yeah so she dropped it under that space and I couldn't obviously bend to grab it because I had on a dress and Andrew wasn't with me yet and I was like oh it's okay I'll just go back and I'll grab another one I was like Madison stop already you know and she was being a little much <laughs> and then I um I walked towards that aisle and then the man came behind me again he was like hey excuse me and then i was like yeah and he's like i um he's like hi sorry to bother you but i really want to buy your girls a bike and then i was like sorry i was like wait hold up what and he was like 
yeah i really want to buy your girls a bike and then i was like no no it's okay that's fine he's like no it's the holiday season he's like i want to bless you guys i really want to buy your daughters a bike and then i was like no oh, okay you know i was like thank you okay so then i followed him and as i followed him we passed the barbies again and since he saw that the girls loved them he gave them each um a barbie toy set which was barbie and she was a vet and she would um it was like the whole set like her whole office was in there um hamsters turtles dogs cats like a bunch of animals that came with it and everything and then um the girls were like yeah they were so excited and then we followed him towards the bike and that's when i had caught angel's like babe come like someone wants to buy the girls gifts and he came he met us up and i introduced himself i was like that's andrew he's my husband and then um they were him and the guy were talking and andrew's like no it's okay like just the barbie sets is fine he was like no, no no i really want to buy them a bike and we were like no it's okay and we had this whole little back and forth again and then he's like you know what he's like look god has blessed me so many ways and everything so i want to bless you guys he's like i really want to bless you guys and your girls like let me please buy them a bike he's like this is god's will i'm just here doing god's work um god put me in your path or he said god put me in your path or he put you in mine for a reason you know he's like i really want to bless the girls and buy them this and he had like this beautiful speech saying how he's doing god's work and all this stuff and we were like oh my god like are you sure like thank you thank you and then he grabbed the bike for luna and he was trying to get a bike for madison he said get two bikes get two bikes we were like no because the baby's only one anyway she, she, she isn't able to ride on those bikes and then um he's like okay he's like then we can go to her aisle and get her um like a bike for her age and we're like no no it's okay like just the one bike is fine i was like no i really want to and we had this whole back and forth thing we're like no like that we can just keep it the way it is right now the two toys and the bike that's fine and he was like okay okay fine 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 and then um as he was offering us all that stuff a mom had passed with her baby as well and he offered to get the baby a bike too and then um she was like no no it's okay like sh she's small her baby was only a couple months he's like sh she's too small anyways bro but he was like oh man okay fine fine but he was offering to a lot of people he was offering to buy them a lot of stuff and then um and then he took us to self-checkout and everything and he paid for my daughter's stuff and um him and andrew had this whole conversation and dressed his name his name was lou and we didn't get any more information because he, he was he just wanted to be quiet but he just wanted to do it out of the kindness of his heart he didn't want anything in return they don't want none of that he seriously just took us to self-checkout he paid it he's like here he gave us the receipt so we're able to walk out because in walmart you have to show the receipt and he gave it to us and he just cut out his information part and he gave it to us and everything and then we were like, oh my God, like we were in shock. The girls were excited, obviously, because they were like, heck yeah, we got toys out of this, you know? And um, they obviously said, thank you, thank you and stuff. And we thanked him like a thousand times. And then he left and we were like, oh my God, like someone just did this for us. Because you see these things online all the time, you know, on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Everyone is blessing someone and it's great. And you don't ever think that it's going to happen to you. Or you're always like, dang, where are these people at? You know, like, I want that to happen to me and little did we know it finally happened to our daughters and our, our daughters god blessed it was seriously like the real life santa claus right there like he made their day they were so happy and excited it was such a beautiful thing and i swear as soon as it happened to us everyone told us where is he at like i want him to buy me something too like where is he like let me go find him <laughs> but i think it was our lucky day because andrew and i saw that at that walmart there was probably like that man who helped us and then there was two other people there who were recording a video or um on live and stuff so my daughters got blessed you know it was it was a good day for them it was a great day for them <laughs> they were blessed they got lucky and everything like they were like it was meant to be you know it was meant to be for them and it was such a beautiful thing for them you know it it, it kind of showed you you know that 
there still can be people out there that are willing to help others even though they don't know you or anything or no matter what the case is they don't want anything in return and that's such a beautiful thing especially with this holiday times i feel like a lot of people you know um it's hard everything's expensive everything's a little much now you know so it was nice that he wanted to do that for for my daughters like i was like oh heck yeah you know first i was like oh and then after i was like oh heck yeah you know like buy them a barbie doll <laughs> and um but it was such a really amazing thing but wherever lou is shout out to him you know um he blessed my baby girl so i hope god blesses him in a million other ways you know um but yeah it was such a beautiful thing i'm literally still in shock i have no words i don't even know what else to say but it was such a beautiful thing for my girls so now that i shared that story with you guys here are my banana muffins there's a lot of them in there there is dark chocolate mixed with semi-sweet chocolate there's walnuts there's plain and there's blueberry so i'm gonna go grab andrew so you can go ahead and try them but they smell so good <laughs> but color so you can try it. No, it's just soft. Oh. Good. <laughs> try it, you make us. Bro, what's the banana? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Good? No, no, no. Are you ready, bro? I don't know, man. I got you there for that. Alrighty, everybody. So I'm gonna finish this banana walnut muffin um, off camera. But if you want to recreate this video, I'll leave the TikTok video in my description. That way, you kids can go ahead and follow that. The only difference I did was that I doubled the recipe as I was doing it, only so, so I don't have to do it once to do it again. I just doubled it and the only difference that I did was add the cinnamon icing in the middle but that's pretty much it but yeah guys you can put whatever toppings you want in them whatever you want in them um and they're super super good and they're super easy to make the other time it took me only 20 minutes to bake and prep everything like to mix everything probably like 10 15 and so I actually bake it in the oven another 15 so probably overall you'll take about 30 minutes to do this it's pretty easy but yeah go ahead and try it out for yourself and happy holidays